So why is this a, why is this such a big impact on climate change? Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, this is north from North America, but I think that the, the the diet balance is similar around the world, especially as development has taken hold and the average global income has risen. You know, um, the uh, the average North American will eat 23 kilograms of pork, 26 kilograms of beef, and 29 kilograms of poultry. Um, because the animals eat every day that they're alive, they can absorb a tremendous amount uh, of, of food that required land to grow. They also, they emit waste, which produces methane, which is uh, 60 to 80 times more impactful than the equivalent weight of CO2. You know, and so just from these average sketches, you see that, you know, the average North American eats uh, an impact of 2,707 kilograms of CO2 per person annually, whereas they, the average fuel consumption is less. It's about 1,900 kilograms of CO2 equivalent. So this is a real, uh, this is an amazing problem front. It's not something that people in healthcare have thought about much, but it is in many ways more impactful than healthcare. Uh, and so it's some food for thought, I hope, for the audience. I'm going to talk now about what kind of innovations that, uh, what kinds of food innovations and technology we I've worked with, and what's sort of popular now. The movement for food tech and startups is now growing at an incredible rate. This last 12 months, over two billion dollars of investment have been put into various kinds of uh, of food tech um, all around the world. Let's take a look at one. This is a this is a plant based shrimp from uh, one of my investments, New Wave Foods. Uh, that shrimp has absolutely no, uh, no animal product in it at all. It passes taste test 10 out of 10. Uh, and uh, it's just a remarkable food. 